Hello everybody, my name is Gary and welcome back to Wizard 101 and today in this video we will be doing another bundle showcase thingy, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it. And as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail and the description and everything else, the bundle that I'm going to be do that I'm going to be showcasing or opening is the Cuckoo Clock Gauntlet bundle. So I have a confession. Um, I kind of already opened the bundle. I no longer have, uh, like, the present, or it's no longer in the present, because I've recorded this video, or tried to record this video, at least 400 different times, and every single time, something went wrong. The first time, I'm pretty sure the video was pretty laggy, so I ended up just deleting it and then doing it again later. Once again, it was super laggy. And then this is the second time that I've recorded this video today. The second time. Because the first time I was, my mic kept hitting my monitor and I didn't realize it as I was actually recording. I only realized after as I was trying to edit it. And so it was just like a bunch of bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, what, what, what is that? And then realize that my mic is right like touching my monitor and I play whiz in windowed mode and I stupidly recorded my whole screen so I couldn't just crop it because the video would have looked weird so I have to re-record everything all over again it's okay though because I really do enjoy doing videos for you guys and by the way if you guys do want to see more bundle showcase videos make sure to let me know down in the comments because these are some of my favorite videos to make they're just so much fun and I love seeing the new things that are added so as as I said, we're opening the Cuckoo Clock Gauntlet bundle. Truth be told, the entire reason that I got this bundle is because I saw a friend who had it, and I thought that it was super, super fun, and I really liked the dungeon. So that's the entire reason that I bought it. And I bought it probably like a year and a half, two years ago. Something crazy. So it's been a really long time that I've actually had the bundle. I just haven't had the video to upload, so I apologize in advance. In advance not advanced. So as I said, I don't have it in the gift box because I already opened everything. So I have it for 110 and I, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to make it as entertaining as I possibly can. Let's just start off with the, uh, gear. So the first one is the hat. Honestly, it's really not that bad. This is probably one of the better and it's level, it's only level 110. So I don't know what level 140 or anything like that is. But honestly, it's not that bad. If I compare it to the Dwargan Hood, for example, it's one less damage and 15 less crit. So it's honestly not, it's really, really not that bad. And it even has more pierce than the Dwargan Hood. And this is a hood used by a lot of death wizards, specifically for the mass faint. But it's, it, this hood isn't even that bad. I mean, obviously compared to the Dragoon gear, even, don't get it confused. This one's Dragoon. Um, bundle. This one is Dragoon uh, farming or crafting. <laughs> so don't get it mixed up. I know it's very confusing. Even the crafted Dragoon gear, it's really, really good. But it's not even that far off from from this gear. So if if you don't have Malastare gear or the Dragoon gear or anything like that, this is this is some pretty good some pretty good armor. And it doesn't even or not armor, but uh, um, hat robe, boots, setup, um, what do I call it? Outfit? I don't want to call it gear because I've said that 300 times. Uh, honestly, the robe is not that good. I would highly not recommend the robe. You can get the Malastare robe, which everybody uses because it's so much better than, uh, this. It, it's just, it just gives crit or it just gives block and resist. That's really the only reason that you would use this robe. And the boots, on once again, they're really, really not that bad. 115 crit and 16 uh, damage. And it even has a balance blade. So if you need, if you need like a quick setup or a quick piece of armor or something like that, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good bundle. Obviously there is better stuff in the game that you could get by farming, but for bundle gear, it's, it's not the worst. There's been a, so much worse. And the final thing is the Dragoon's Rapier. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I even Googled how to say it because I didn't want to say it wrong. And it has a new May cast, or it's not new, but it has a May cast, which we have to check out towards the end of the video. So I actually forgot to show you guys the May cast. So that's what we're going to do right now, <laughs> a day later as I'm editing the video. <laughs> Whenever I was doing this before, by the way, it literally took six different, like seven different wand hits or something. It would not use the May cast. Oh, first try. Yes. Yeah. 
can't see how much damage it does. I'm sorry. I think it did like 900, maybe? 300? 9, 3, 100, something. It did something with zero, zero. There's the May Cash. You're welcome. Continue on with the rest of the video. <laughs> Let's admire our beauty. We could stun people. Stunning, darling. Stunning. Uh, we, if we get into a battle, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have to fight people. We would just have to show up and they're, they're done, they're done. They're, they're stunned. We, we win. That we, we win the battle. So, beautiful. Beautiful gear. <laughs> Honestly, it's not my favorite. If, I, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, it's, I don't, I don't like the gear that much. Maybe you've dyed it. I kind of like the hat, but not the, the rest. The rest is kind of gross. Let's look at the pet for a minute. So, if you guys play pirate, uh, this, this whole bundle basically is based off of, uh, Pirate 101's Valencia, I'm pretty sure, world. I haven't gotten that far in Pirate, so don't take my word for anything. But I'm pretty sure, no, I'm not pretty sure. I think what this, uh, pet's, pet is based off of is the Armada, I think is what they're called. The Clockwork Minions or something like that. That's what it's based off of uh, on Pirate or in pirate. And honestly, it's pretty cute. I think if I had the stats or it had pretty good stats, I would just have to like transfer it and everything, but I don't have the energy to do that. I would probably use this pet. It is, I really do like it. It is really cute. Let's just wait for the AFK animation because I kind of want to see it. There we go. It just shows us our sword. Once again, stunning darling, stunning. <laughs> What am I doing? Why am I making that voice? I don't know. We'll check out the swimming animation and everything like that after. The one of the last parts is the clockwork courser mount. I really, really like this mount. This is one of my favorite. Not, no, I never use it. But compared to other uh, bundle mounts, this is one of my favorites. I think that it does look really, really cool. I really like the gears inside its hips and joints and stuff. Oh, it was doing its AFK animation and I, and I interrupted it. It's okay. Apparently this, uh, it was the same thing whenever I recorded this video earlier. This mount did the AFK animation probably like 30 times in a row. But I really like the gears and the joints and I, I like how it looks so steampunky. But it also looks really elegant and really majestic, I guess, is the best word. Do you see that? Like, it, it just keeps trying to do the AFK animation. And I'm pretty sure this was the first bundle that you could die in Wiz, which is why so many people wanted it so bad, because you can actually die it. We'll actually go check it out because we have to go check out the swimming animation anyways. Yeah, so you can have it literally any color, which is so cool. Mount should be able to be dyed anyways. Why can't I die my death whirlwind? But you could give it so many different colors. This is so cool. Anyways, carrying on. <laughs> Let's go look at the uh, swimming animation for both the pet and mount and the AFK animations for them. I actually don't know if the pet has an AFK animation in the water. As I said, I've recorded this video. This is the second time I've recorded this video today. And I sat here for like five, or I sat in the water or in uh, Crab Alley for like five minutes and it didn't do the AFK animation. So I don't know. Here's the, here's the pet or the mount, uh, the swimming animation. I really, really like it. It's really funny. I'm pretty sure it's the same as all of the other horses. The stallions i think are what is what they're called oh no the ponies oh the black stallion yeah i'm not dumb but i'm pretty sure it's the same as those ones i i, I could be wrong but i think it's the same i like the idol animation for the horse it's very gentle it's very nice and there was the afk animation so it, i feel like it's just a normal horse I, I i don't know i haven't looked at the other i haven't I don't think I've seen one of the other horses in a really, really long time. Here's the pet's underwater animation. It just swims like the wizard with its wings behind it, flying through the water or swimming really fast. As Dory would say, just keep swimming. You got this little, little uh, winged creature armada thingy. And then I'll, I'll wait here for a moment, but I don't know if it's going to do an AFK animation because I didn't see one at all whenever I was doing the video earlier. Even I did the AFK animation. I really don't think it has one. And if it does, we're not going to be able to see it because it, it just won't do it. And the final thing we get to look at is the Cuckoo Clock Gauntlet bundle itself, the actual dungeon. This is one of my favorite dungeons. Yeah, this is just one of my favorite dungeons. I think, I don't, I don't, I can't give a reason. I think it's just, it's just gorgeous. But I think that's all this bundle has to offer. So I 
think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, consider subscribing. There is a link in the description as well as a big giant red subscribe button below this video. You can press either one. They both do the exact same thing and it just helps the channel out a ton. While you're down there as well, comment something. Comment anything. I absolutely love seeing your guys' comments. It really makes my day a thousand times better. And let me know what you guys want to see in the future for Wiz or other games in general. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.